morning to everyone today in this video i'm going to doing the revision of first chapter that is nature and significance of management in this video i'm going to explaining to you that is one marks and two marks before going for that explanation i would like to tell you that what is the weightage we can expect for a first chapter if it is 100% syllabus we can expect 11 marks for the final exam how we can allocate this 11 marks one marks question is one question this we can expect in section a two marks question is one question this we can expect in section b eight marks question is one question and we can expect in section d and as usual one practical oriented question if it is 70 percent syllabus total marks of first chapter is 19 marks one marks question is one question two marks question is one four marks question is two questions eight marks question is one question and plus practical oriented question in the first chapter we already learned the topics are our contents are introduction to the management meaning and definition of management effectiveness causes efficiency importance of management characteristics of management objectives of management and functions of management and coordination topic these are the topics are contained it is in the first chapter now coming for the revision here that first question section a one marks what is efficiency this question they asked in supplementary march 2019 what is efficiency efficiency means doing the task correctly with minimum cost you have to understand efficiency means here the very important terminology doing the task correctly with minimum cost second one what is effectiveness concerned with effectiveness is concerned with completing activities and achieving goal or else you can also write completing activities sorry doing the task and completing the activities and achieving the goals in efficiency effectiveness is very important you can expect any one question in the examination it's a very important topic and next we have that question number three four five this question is based on levels of management already we have learned there are the three levels of management and each level they have the examples also in the exam they are going to ask for examples here give an example for top level management chairman chief executive officer chief operating officer president vice president board of directors you can write it any one among these points if you write that one point you will get one marks next one question number four example for middle level management that middle level management is belonging to all the departmental managers the examples is production manager sales manager production manager purchase manager or finance manager you can write it any one in the exam next question number five give an example for supervisory level of management this supervisory level of management we can also call it as lower level management or operational level management the all the three alternative name is the same level the example foreman supervisor inspector among the three examples you can write it any one in the examination next question number six here the mcq question mcq means multiple choice oriented question they'll give that question along with the four option 
you have to write any one option in the examination which of the following is not a function of management here they are asking is not a function of management already you know that in management we have that five function that is planning organizing staffing directing controlling here they have given planning planning is a function of management staffing cooperating controlling cooperating is not a function of management cooperating is a essence for the management is not a function of management next question number 7 management is option a an art b is science option c both art and science d neither the answer is both art and science the management we are considered as a both art and science next question number 8 which of the following is not an objective of management option a earning of profit b growth of the organization c providing employment d policy making here option a earning of profit this objective will comes in the organizational objective growth also organizational providing employment it is a social objective here they are asking is not an objective policy making is not an objective of management it is a compulsory duty of the top level management this policy making or framing of policies or framing of rules and regulation it may help to the survival of the organization and it may creates that atmosphere of discipline in the or among the employees in the organization next question question number 9 policy formulation is the function of that mean who are formulating who are framing the policies in the organization option a top level management b middle level management option c operational level management d all of the above here how to guess the answer in the multiple choice oriented question first delete that whatever that wrong option here all of the above is the wrong operational is the wrong middle level is the wrong the correct answer is top level management like that when you want to write it or when you want to pick that answer in a multiple choice oriented question you have to delete that wrong answer first next question number 10 essence coordination is option a function of management b essence of management c objective of management d none of the above none of the above wrong objective also is a wrong function of management coordination is a not function the answer is the essence of management next question number 11 state any one dimension of management this question is a very important the dimensions we have learned in the characteristics of management that is a third point management is a multi dimension we have the three dimension that is management of work management of people management of operation among the three you can write it any one next one question number 12 is management a science or art or both the answer is management is considered both art and science question number 13 state any one organizational objective they are asking organizational objective in organizational objective we have the three objective that is survival profit growth you can write it any one that is next one question number 14 state any one levels of management we have the three levels of management you can write it any one levels of management that is top level or middle level or supervisory or operational or lower level coming to the section b this section b is a two marks in the exam from this chapter one question will come that is question number will be 13 in the final examination or whatever the midterm or whatever the preparatory examination that is question number 13 first one define management this question is they asked in the 
supplementary match 2019 they're asking define that mean you should not supposed to write that meaning of the management you should supposed to write that define that mean in this define there should be an author name and what that author said about that the management here the famous definition is given by harald koons and hans virich he said that management is the process of designing and maintaining an environment in which individuals has to work together in the groups efficiently accomplish selected aims that mean that they have given their opinion according to the management that is management what is management management is a process yeah this process in this process we have that five uh, process we are using are uh, five function with the using of five function we are designing and maintaining in the organization we have to design the organizational structure or whatever the requirement is there and all those things with the surrounding that is the environment the individuals the workers has to work or they are coming they are appointing as individually and they should not supposed to work as a individually they have to work in a groups with the working of in a group effectively they have to achieve that selected aims this is defined management next one second question state any two organizational objective already explained in the one marks there are the three objectives survival profit growth next one define coordination here i have given the two definitions whichever is easy for you you can write it in the examination they'll give a marks for this here i have given that according to macfarlane and moni and rule first we'll learn macfarlane coordination is a process whereby an executive develops an orderly pattern of group efforts among his subordinates secures unity of action in pursuit of common purpose that mean coordination is a process where that the manager they are going to using this and they are going to create that good understanding among the di different department the individuals has to work in a groups and the manager will give a unity of command unity of action that mean the manager will going to tell that what they want to work in the different department in the organization the workers or the employees or the subordinate they are going to work and why they want to work because of they want to achieve that common purpose common purpose means common goal that is organizational goal this definition has said by that macfarlane now coming to that moni and rule he said that coordination and orderly arrangement of group efforts to provide unity of action in pursuit of common goal the both the definition it is a commonly they have that common meaning but it is very easy to write and easy to learn that is moni and rule coordination is orderly arrangement that mean the manager will take on this activity they are going to arranging that the systematically in the organization and the different department in the organization and also the workers has to work in the group and the manager will tell that to the workers what they want to work and finally they are going to achieve in that organizational or common goal next one fourth question is justify the importance of coordination by any two factors this question they asked in the march 2020 final examination there are the three points you can write it any one point in the any two points in the examination that is growth in size specialization functional differentiation question number 5 state any two importance of management here i have given a four points you can write it any two points in the examination that is management helps in achievement of group goals management increases efficiency management creates a dynamic organization management helps in achieving personal objectives and next question give the meaning of management here i have given that the two meanings you can write it any one in the examination this can also for ask for one marks question even if the two marks also we can expect this meaning you can write it as a introduction this meaning you can write it introduction for a eight marks that is meaning of management management is a process of getting things done through with the aim of achieving goals effectively and efficiently management is a process this process will going to taken by the manager the manager will giving the some directions 
or some instruction to the workers what they want to work and the the manager will get that work that means they, they are going to get the work from the the workers finally they are going to achieving the organizational goal next one next meaning management is the art of getting things done through with the aim of or help of others in order to achieve the specific organizational goal there are the both the meaning also it gives the same meaning so better to write the first one it is a easy to learn it is a easy to remember easy to write in the examination and the last question in the section b state any two levels of management if you learn the levels of management for a practical oriented question you can able to answer for one marks and even if that the two marks question also this already we have learned in the one marks question examples along with the levels in the next class i am going to explaining to you that is section c thank you